you know that subtraction is not commutative for whole numbers. Let us understand this with the help of one example. Suppose you have two whole numbers, 5 and 3. So, is, is 5 minus 3 equal to 3 minus 5? So, you know that when you subtract 3 from 5, you get 2. And when you subtract 5 from 3, you get minus 2. So, here you got minus 2. And here you got 2. So you can clearly see that minus 2 and 2, they both are not equal. That is why we say that subtraction is not commutative for whole numbers. Similarly, for integers, subtraction is not commutative. Let us take two numbers. For example, you have two integers, say 5 and minus 2. So is 5 minus of minus 3 equals to minus 3 minus of 5. So here what will you get? Let us solve this side first. So 5 minus of minus 3. Here minus into minus will become plus. So 5 plus 3 you get 8. Here what will you get? Minus 3 minus 5. So here you get minus 8. So this side you got minus 8 and this side you got 8. So you can clearly see that this is not equal to this. So you can see here that subtraction is not commutative for integers as well. What about rational numbers? Here also let us understand this with the help of one example. So there are two rational numbers. Say one rational number is 2 by 3 and the other rational number is 5 by 4. So in the case of rational number you need to see is this equal to 5 by 4 minus 2 by 3. Is it equal? So here let us solve this side first. So here what do you get? The denominators are different. So you need to take the LCM first to make the denominators same. So the LCM for 3 and 4 is 12. So let us solve it. So 2 by 3 minus 5 by 4. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So what do you get? 8 by 12. And here you have to multiply numerator and denominator by 3. Minus sign I am writing as it is. So here you will get minus 15 upon 12. So what will you get here? 8 minus 15 you will get minus 7 in the numerator and denominator it is 12. What will you get this side? Let us solve it. So here you have 5 by 4 minus 2 by 3. So here also the denominators are different. So LCM you will take 12. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So you get 15. And in denominator you get 12, here you get 8 by 12. So what do you get here? 7 by 12. And you can clearly see that this minus 7 by 12 is not equal to 7 by 12. That means this side is not equal to this side. So in the case of rational numbers also, subtraction is not commutative. You can try out yourself with some more examples. So let us write down here, subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers you know that multiplication is commutative for whole numbers what does it mean it means that if you have two whole numbers a and b then a into B is equal to B into A. Let us take one example. Suppose we have two whole numbers 5 and 6. So 5 into 6 is also 30. 6 into 5 is also 30. So you can multiply them in any order. Similarly for integers. If you have any two integers A and B, then A into B is equal to B into A. Let us take one example here. Suppose we have two integers, say minus 9 and 4. So what will you get here? Minus 36. So here 4 into minus 9. We have changed the order. So here also what will you get? Minus 36. So you can try out with as many integers you want. You will always see that a into b is equal to b into a. What about rational numbers? So let us understand it with the help of one example. Suppose you have two rational numbers 2 by 3 and 5 by 4. So here you are multiplying 2 by 3 with 5 by 4 
and this side we have changed the order. We are multiplying 5 by 4 with 2 by 3. So let us solve this side first. So here you have 2 by 3 into 5 by 4. So if any common factor is there in numerator and denominator, you can cancel it. So 2 and 4 you can cancel it out. So here you will get 2. So in numerator you get 1 into 5 as 5. And in denominator 3 into 2 you get 6. Now let us solve this side. So here you have 5 by 4 into 2 by 3. So here also you have 2 and 4 you can cancel it out. So here what do you get in numerator? 5 and in denominator you will get 2 into 3, 6. So both the sides you got 5 by 6. You can try out with some more rational numbers and you will always see that a into b is equal to b into a. Here I have changed the order. Here I have multiplied 2 by 3 with 5 by 4 and here I am multiplying 5 by 4 with 2 by 3. So in rational numbers also we can say that multiplication is commutative. Let us write it down. For any two rational numbers A and B. A into B is equal to B into A. So here we are multiplying B into A and here we are multiplying A into B. You can multiply the rational numbers in any order. That is why we say that multiplication is commutative for rational numbers. Now let us take division. So you know that for whole numbers division is not commutative. For example, if you have two whole numbers, say 5 and 6. So if you divide 5 by 6, is it equal to 6 by 5? You can clearly see that these two are not equal. So we say that division is not commutative for whole numbers. That means what? If you have two whole numbers, A and B, so A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. Similarly for Integers, let us take two integers. Say you have two uh, minus 5 and minus 6. Is it equal to minus 6 divided by minus 5? You can clearly see that they are not equal. Here you will get 5 by 6 and here you will get 6 by 5. They both are not equal. So we say that division is not commutative for integers as well. What about rational numbers? Let us take one example to understand that. Suppose you have two rational numbers. One is say 2 by 3 and other one is 5 by 12. So is this equal to 5 by 12 divided by 2 by 3? So let us solve this side first. So if you solve this side, you can write down 2 by 3 as it is. Division you can write down as multiplication. Then you need to take the reciprocal of this number. Reciprocal means denominator will go in the numerator and the numerator will come in the denominator. Now you can cancel 3 and 12. You can, any common factor is there in numerator and denominator, you can cancel it. So 3 into 4 is 12. So here you get 4. So what will you get here? 4 into 2 in the numerator that is 8 and the denominator 1 into 5 is 5. So this side you got 8 by 5. Now let us solve this side. So here you have 5 by 12. So let us write down 5 by 12. Division changes to multiplication. Reciprocal of this number. So 3 by 2. If any common factor is there you can cancel it out. So you can cancel 3 and 12. So here you will get 4. So now you can solve it. So 5 into 1 is 5 in the numerator. And 4 into 2 is 8 in the denominator. So you can clearly see that you did not get the same answer. So you can see that this side is not equal to this side. So you can try out with as many numbers you want. You will see that division is not commutative for rational numbers. Let us write it down. Division is not commutative For rational numbers,
associativity. Let us now discuss the associativity of four operations for whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. So let us first discuss about addition. So you know that addition is associative for whole numbers. If you have three whole numbers a, b and c then you can add them in any order. So here first we will add b to c and the result is added to a. That is same as adding a and b first and then the result is being added to c. So let us understand this with the help of one example. Suppose you have three whole numbers 2, 3 and 4. So here first we will add 3 and 4 then the result we will add it to 2. So 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9. And this side you have a value is 2, b is 3 plus c is 4. So first we will add this. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4. We are writing 4 as it is. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So you can see that you got the same answer. Both the sides you got 9. So you can see here that addition is associative for whole numbers. Similarly for integers, addition is associative. That means if you have three integers a, b and c, then you can add them in any order. Here we are adding b to c, the result is added to a. Here we are adding a to b and the result is added to c. Let us take three integers now and understand it. Suppose you have three integers. 2, b I am taking as minus 3 and c I am taking as 4. So a I have written here 2. So here also I will write it as 2 and b is minus 3 and c is 4. So here first we will add minus 3 and 4. It is inside the brackets. So minus 3 plus 4 what will you get? 1 and plus 2. Here this side, first we will add this. So 2 plus of minus 3, what will you get? Minus 1. And here what will you get? Plus 4. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And minus 1 plus 4 is also 3. So you saw here that addition is associative for integers as well. What about rational numbers? Can we add the three rational numbers in any order? Let us understand this with the help of one example. So we have three rational numbers, 1 by 2 and then we have 3 by 4 minus 1 by 5. So here we are adding three rational numbers. One is 1 by 2, this is a positive rational number, this is also a positive rational number and this is a negative rational number. Now we will change the order and rewrite it. So here first we will add 1 by 2 and 3 by 4 and then we will add the result of these two numbers after adding them with minus 1 by 5. So let us solve this side. So first you need to solve the brackets as per the BODMAS rule. So here the denominators are different. So you need to make the denominators same by taking the LCM. So what will you get here? 4 and 5 LCM is 20. So here in both numerator and denominator you will multiply by 5. So what will you get? 15 upon 20 plus here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So this is minus 4 upon 20 and this side what will you get? Here the denominators are different so you need to take the LCM. LCM for 2 and 4 is 4. So you have to multiply here both numerator and denominator by 2. So what will you get here? 2 by 4 and here Denominator is already 4, so this we will write as it is 3 by 4 plus minus 1 by 5. Now you can add the numbers easily because the denominators are same. So 15 plus of minus 4, what will you get? You will get 11 in the numerator upon 20 and you have to add it to 1 by 2. Here what will you get? Denominators are same, so when you add 2 plus 3, you get 5. So this side it is 5 by 4. And here it is minus 1 by 5. Now again you need to make the denominators same by taking the LCM. So LCM for 2 and 20 is 20. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. 
So what will you get here? 10 upon 20. And here what will you get? 11 upon 20. Here the denominators are different. So you need to make the denominator same by taking the LCM. So LCM for 4 and 5 is 20. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. So what will you get here? 25 in numerator and denominator you get 20. Here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So what will you get here? 4 upon 20. So this side, what do you get? 10 plus 11 is 21 upon 20. And this side, what will you get? 25 minus 4 is 21. In denominator, you get 20. So you can clearly see that both the side, you got the same answer. So here you can see that you can add the rational numbers in any order. Try out yourself with some more numbers. Now let us write down for any three rational numbers A, B and C we have A plus in brackets B plus C is equal to here we'll put A plus B inside the brackets plus C. So that means if you have three rational numbers A, B and C you can add them in any order. Here we are adding B to C the result is added to A. Here we are adding A to B then the result is being added to C. So we say that addition is associative for rational numbers.